Welcome Whiskies to another episode of Whiskies TV. Uh, we hope you have an incredible week. Now I have come for a big long walk in an incredibly muddy field just near where I live. And it's a lot colder than I thought it was going to be. This is why I've got my hood up. Uh, but it's incredible weather. It's a lovely weather to go for a walk and just think about things in. And today I've been thinking a lot about this new series that we're starting with kids. I think that this series is going to unlock things in us with kids. I think it's going to bring incredible insights into the word of God uh, and our relationship with God. And, you know, this series is all about the names of God. And it's a, it's a series that I can't remember us doing in with kids before. So I think it's a chance to learn new things. It's a chance to encounter God. Uh, so, yeah, if you've got a notebook and pen, make sure you've got it ready. Uh, and uh, today's message is from Pastor Mo. It's going to be incredible. We hope you'll have an amazing week with kids. We'll see you soon. Bye.
Trembles at his voice, and trembles at his voice. Hi Miss Kids and welcome to our new series. In this series we're going to be looking at God's names. Are you excited? So, first of all, names are so important aren't they? Can you imagine a life without names? Like what would you do? You'd be like, hi? Hi look, like how would, how would we tell people who we've never met before? How do, how would we tell them what our names is? If you could, if you could think of a way to do that, let me know. But, cause think about it, I might not have met some of you. So, hello, my name is Mo. Hi, 
how you doing? I hope you're doing okay on this wonderful day. Now, like we said, names are super, super important. I know I said my name is Mo. It's actually um, Mo's a little thing called a, like a nickname kind of thing. So Mo isn't like my full name. Mm -mm. My full name is Are You Ready? I'll bring it down for you just in case. It's Morayo. Oh yeah, my name is Morayo. Can you see the lovely joke that writing I did for you guys? Mm hmm. It's Morayo, and it means I found joy. Yeah, my yeah. My name means I found joy, which is really, really cool. And I know for sure that some of you boys and girls have a name that has a meaning too. Do you know what it is? If you don't, why don't you have a search later? Or maybe ask your parents, what does my name mean? Don't worry if your name doesn't have a meaning. That's okay too. So, like I said, names are super, super important. And God has so many names. And we're going to be looking at one together. Are you ready? Now, before we... Before I tell you what the name is, we're going to read the Bible. God's word. Whoop. Oh, yeah. The Bible. Now, we're going all the way back to the beginning. We're going to Genesis 1, verse 1. Oh, yeah. The very first verse in the Bible. Okay? You ready? It says, <clears throat> in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Oh, yeah. So... What I'm thinking is, surely, if he created the heavens and the earth, the Lord must have a name, which means creator. And you know what? Yeah, he does. This name is really, really special because did you know that the Bible wasn't written in English? I know. I know. It was translated and it was translated from, well, Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Hebrew. And there's a very special Hebrew name that we call the Lord, and that is called Elohim. Can you see it? Elohim. And it means strong creator. Can you see how I drew the world in the O? Mm -hmm. Strong creator. The Lord is so strong and powerful and mighty. He created the whole heavens and the whole earth. Everything that's in it, the rivers, the land, the sea, all of it, the birds. It says he created all of the animals. He created it. And you know what? Not only did he create the birds, the seas, everything that we see, he created you. Mm -hmm. He created you as well. How exciting is that? He created you. And he didn't just like rush it. He didn't go, oh yeah. I'll give them brown hair, I'll give them blue eyes, I'll give them a big nose, give them a small head. No. He said he took his time because it says in Psalms that you are beautifully and wonderfully made. He made you exactly the way you need to be. You are amazing. You are beautifully and wonderfully made. Oh my goodness. And he has got such incredible plans for you. Mm -hmm. How amazing is that, that we have an incredible God who's so strong and is such an incredible creator that he created a great life for us. How good is that? So we know that we can pray to the Lord and we can trust and believe in his strength to help us in our lives. If something's a bit hard in school or at home, or I know because it's been a bit tough and not been able to see our friends, we can pray for just God's strength and comfort over our lives. So boys and girls, can we, should we pray together? Let us pray. Lord, we thank you that you're so kind and loving that you created this world for us to live in. And we thank you that you created us so that we are beautifully and wonderfully made, Lord, and that we are exactly who we need to be. Lord, we thank you that you've got an incredible plan for us and we're so excited to be able to get to know you more as we discover your names even more. Amen. Amen. So boys and girls, stay tuned for next week when we learn a new name. I wonder what it will be. Bye. Hey, whiz kids. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, we hope you got a ton from that message. How good was that message? It's incredible. Uh, so yeah, we were praying for you guys this week. We hope that wherever you are, whether you're learning from home, whether you're going to school, uh, we hope you have an incredible week. Uh, God bless you. And we'll see you soon. Bye.